many people have them different opinions about it. But what do you mean it's trolling? Love is one emotion. Is one feeling? Or is it deeper? I also think lust and love been absolutely not the same. And anybody that say that you can make love, that is in my opinion a little bit past of the world. And I don't understand the word actually. If they are truly think about it actually. Because lust is selfish. It can come from ego. Actually, most of the time it comes from ego. Love, therefore, can come only from the essence of human conduct being called uh, compassion. Because, uh, because love um, is not selfish. It's not egocentric. It's not full with fellow anger. So, love cannot be used in a negative way. So, so if a rapist say that he love his woman, his wife, his girlfriend, or how he wants it called, it, he don't understand what love means. Because that's a far more than one him hormones and one or drift or how you want to call it. Love of nothing to do with procreation. For example, you can also love somebody that you don't want to have sex with or something like that. So, there is actually a difference between love and or compassion love and actually lust. What I mean to say is that, for example, you can love your dog, but most sane people don't to have sex with their dog and do bestiality. Actually, sane people don't do that. People, sane people also don't to have sex with their with their brother or sister. Have incest. Even gorillas don't do that. Gorillas don't have incest. Because gorillas have um, national privilege. So don't have sexual incourse with members of their own uh, group. Other, other people, now, people that are being grow up with. For the people that say you don't can kill a gorilla, mm, person. A person is a, is a, sure is somebody with one personality of himself. All animals have personality of himself. If you want ever um, look long enough to your dog and observe their way of living, then you will come to the conclusion that. I mean, not all the same. And also, if you look to other animal species, animals that live in the world, come also to the conclusion that I mean, not all robots that act completely the same. I mean, living sentient creatures a central nervous system in 2012 actually. A group of neuroscientists have actually proved 
I do mean concert being the same. So it is absolutely normal, logical to call all animals persons. Not only, not only humans. Only when people have um, learned to don't have sex in a relationship for a longer time. Try this, for example. If you lock in a relationship with somebody, try for some time, um, for a long time not to have a sexual contact. And look to if there be a deeper connection between you and your partner. Because if only what holds you together is having sexual intercourse with each other, only to procreate or have something, do something or other, then you don't be naturally in love. And you, be, in my opinion, just. Uh, Actually, in a, in a procreating farm condition, <laughs> try to understand what I mean. <laughs> this all curved. <laughs> Maybe. But what I mean, actually, if you don't come off. Uh, live together and don't have uh, deeper interests with each other. It's go far behind that you uh, do the monkey, then a prime and the, the instinct thing, and don't have connections with each other. For example, you like don't like the same stuff. Then you don't be truly in love. And then maybe it's time to go apart and find somebody that you actually love. Somebody that of the same kind of interest like you, that wants to have the same lifestyle that you want to have. Call it a soulmate or something like that. <laughs> so much people that been confused. Actually, I what I mean actually different between in love and love and uh, of just a sexual relationship. That's the two things that being totally different. The almost thing that don't mean that you've been in love, it just uh, is an attraction, but this don't mean that you've been in love. In lo uh, love and in love is something that stay even if you've been out of your pink walk, in your butterfly uh, robots. <laughs> if you don't understand what I mean. So I hope that you like this video. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. I make motivation videos, animal rights videos, uh, philosophy videos, motivation videos and psychological uh, videos about psychological disorders and I want also to do some history so choose which kind of history you want that I talk about because I know a lot about the different kinds of history I see that I talk about the Greeks Mythology, history, or I want you to talk about Nordic, 
mythology or history. Where once you did I talk about the history of animal rights? Because there are a lot of stuff about that. And I learned a lot about it. So put it in the comments. And I'll see you next time. Go Avi. Plus the excuse for causing the least amount of harm possible on this planet. Always be free. Animal agriculture is the biggest cost of human and animal abuse. And if you don't understand that, I will be glad to explain you this. But you have to be with an open mind and don't need being close minded. So, when darkness and light become one, the reality splinter away and the truth become true.